Hello and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet where we talk about wearable crochet style and welcome today let's find out what's on the hook well I'm wearing my America tank in honor of Labor Day today today is the day that we celebrate all of our working men and women and it began as a sort of a union thing but now I think we celebrate everyone who's working and in the workforce those people keep things going they keep our food into the grocery stores they uh, perform all kinds of things that we don't think about the post office the banks the uh, the workers that you have that come to your house and do things there are all kinds of people who work the teachers the principals everyone who works we celebrate Labor Day today because that is the day that we focus on the working men and women in our country now today is mostly a day off for them uh, most of the government workers are off uh, you'll find a lot of great Labor Day sales you might check your yarn shop for those, uh, Joann's, Michael's, and Hobby, Do Hobby Lobby might be having some sales going on today, so be sure to check those out if you're in the market for yarn. Now, we know that fall is coming up, and I have some new things to show you about fall, but right now, I'm going to change, as promised, into my sparkling summer sweater, so here we go. So here I am. I am back. And I wanted to show you this. This is my brand new sweater. It's called the Sparkling Summer Sweater. I made it from Audine Wools, which is a knit crepe product. This is Twinkle DK, which is a fat DK, what I consider almost a worsted weight. It is not tiny at all. It is a good size weight of yarn and very substantial when you get it crocheted. It um, has a lot of body to it not a lot of drapes so my suggestion would be when you make this do not make the sweater very very long where you need a lot of drape for it to look good you might want to crop it or just make it just as mid hip or something like that so that uh, your sweater won't need a lot of drape now if you're making it from something with a lot of drape then you don't have to worry about that so my suggestion would be to find a yarn that is a little softer than this. I like this. This has a, a twinkle to it. It's a, a Stellina is what they call it. It's beautiful, beautiful yarn. I really like it. And the colorway is Knit Yorker, K-N-I-T, Knit Yorker. And that's what it looks like up close. I had an entire skein of this left. I don't know what I'll do with it. There are 250 yards on here of DK weight yarn so probably enough to make a little hat or something like that so I'll probably keep this um, don't think I'll be giving this away but you never know that is what I made it from Audine Wools by Knit Crate Twinkle DK my guess is that they still have some on their website I don't know but my suggestion is to use any DK weight yarn that you like you probably have some in your stash and if not, you can go get a number three yarn at Joann's Michael's Hobby Lobby. They all have plenty of those, and they're so beautiful. Um, they do have a lot of drape, more than a worsted sweater has. Now, on the QT, I am creating a new fall sweater that is made from worsted yarn, and it's got a nice look to it. I really like it. It's a little bit of a stash buster, so... Uh, when that comes out in the next couple of weeks, I think I'll be finished with it hopefully by then, um, I'll show it to you and you can take a look at it and think, see what you think. Uh, it's a step away from my normal uh, uh, one color garments and I like it. I really do like it. It's not a variegated yarn that I'm using. It's not a stripy yarn. Um, there's several yarns that I'm using. So as again, that's a stash buster. But today's sweater is the Sparkling Summer Sweater, and this will be coming out probably tomorrow, maybe Wednesday. It depends on uh, if I can finish the pattern and get it out um, onto Etsy, and then I will send you an email if you're in the community, and you'll get a special discount on that pattern. And you can also use it on any pattern in my shop for a specific amount of time. It's an offer code that I will email to you if you're in the community. Now... You can, I have seen many patterns out there that are in my, in a cart 
they're people that are waiting for the next special discount, which is great. I'm totally fine with that. So if you see something you like, throw it in your cart, and then when the next special discount comes, you can buy it at that point. But you will receive an email either tomorrow or Wednesday, which will announce the new pattern and give you that special offer code. So be sure you're in the community by clicking the link down in the description box. If you're already in the community, don't worry about it. You will get the email. But if you're not in the community, the On The Hook community, then you need to sign up for that. It's free and you also get a, a brand new pattern, a PDF pattern when you sign up and it's free to you. It's a, it comes directly to you. It's a PDF of the Hug Me Cow and awesome for Christmas gifts. You might want to check it out for that. So that's what's going on with this new sweater. Now let me stand up and model this because Crystal modeled it uh, last week and I wanted to show this to you. This is, uh, what I really like about this, one of the things is the beautiful neckline. I love the neckline on this. It turned out really nice. And so I wanted to show you how it looked. And this is not a very, very long sweater. This is a, um, a sweater with probably six inches of ease, maybe, maybe eight. Um, not very much ease, but I did put a wide rib at the bottom and I match the rib with the arm and the neckline so it kind of pulls the sweater together especially if you're making this from a solid color if you're making it from a variegated color or a stripy color the ribs are not going to be as pronounced but you can still make it it's just that in a solid color it looks really nice I like the way that the ribs turn up in the solid color yarns this is what the back looks like it comes up in the back um, not too high but high enough to make it a fall sweater or late summer the rib stands up very nicely so I tell you in the pattern how wide to make the bottom of the neckline where you start that neckline is up to you you can start that neckline at any height that you want and I I started mine down here right at there right about there and it's right about underline, right where the underarm goes across. Not exactly, maybe a little bit lower than that. But it did start there. Now, these sleeves are not crocheted into the fabric. These are crocheted on after you sew the side seam and the shoulder seam. They're sewn up and then you crochet around in a circle. And I tell you how to do that and how to get the sleeve to fit your arm. See, they don't stick out right there. They were when I first... So the uh, shoulder seam and the side seam, they were standing straight out. But when you decrease the la you know, when you start decreasing, it'll bring that sleeve in and give it a professional look. See how it doesn't stick out? And that's my total objective, is to make the sweater easy to make, easy to understand, and the sweater to fit you, and to give you the best tips to make it look the best for you. Um, I don't mind wearing my sweaters to fancy outings, to church, out and about. I, I'm not ashamed of any of my sweaters because I did the very best that I could on the sweaters. And I know that you do the very same way. So what I want to do is make sure that my patterns are easy to understand. They're for beginners for the most part. If you're a beginning crocheter, you can follow my patterns. Um, very few of them have been more difficult than an advanced beginner. So that is my focus and sometime in the future I might design a more difficult sweater but it's really not necessary my focus is for you to make a sweater that fits you and if you're a beginning crocheter then there are plenty of patterns on my Etsy shop that you can look at and say I'd like to make that and when you get the pattern you will be able to understand it that is my focus so you can understand it and that will fit you the first time now I am wrapping up the summertime. I guess you figured that out. This is the sparkling summer sweater and this can take you into fall. This is very beautiful. You could actually wear this um, with a tank top underneath it if you feel like you might be a little bit cool in it later in the summer or even early fall. If you make it out of a good color then you can wear it all the way into fall. Not a problem. And the sleeves are long enough. They are almost to my elbow. See right there. They're almost to the elbow. So it's a warm sweater, but I'm not hot in it today. It's probably 90 degrees outside and I have the air conditioner running. 
but I am not hot in this sweater. And after you wear a wool sweater for a while, and I just discovered this last year, because I rarely ever or ever used wool in my garments. When you wear wool against your skin, after about an hour or two, it starts to soften up. I'm serious. It softens up and it gets smoother on the inside. And because your body heat warms up that wool fiber. And I know people have told me this and I just didn't really believe them. But I do know that the wool sweaters that I have made, they're very, very comfortable to wear, even in warm temperatures. And wool in warm temperatures, it seems weird, but you know, if the, if the sweater has some holes in it and the air can go through it, the wool is not all that hot. Now, when you start making your fall sweaters, you can use acrylics or wool, anything you want, because you're probably not going to get hot in them. And the sweater I have on the horizon is made from ac acrylic and rayon fibers or yarns, all different kinds of yarn. And I wanted to bring that to you before it got too late in the season, because otherwise I would find out that um, Christmas is upon us and <laughs> I'm still making summer sweaters. I don't want to be doing that. So I have one more sweater that I want to publish and roll out this season. And the summer sweater, this is Sparkling Summer. And Crystal is going to model my brand new Simple Summer Sweater. My Simple Summer Sweater. And this is a very simple summer sweater. You can whip it up in basically any kind of yarn you want. Now, I use Delight 3. And if you've been watching my program for a while, you'll know that I started a sweater using Chameleon Yarn. This is by Premier. Love it. Love the yarn. The yarn is very soft. It's 100% cotton, so it's a perfect summer yarn. Perfect summer yarn. Now, this says $7.99 a skein. I used three skeins, and I had this much left of a fourth skein. So I used about three and a half skeins of this. And so then it cost me... Um, $30, which is a lot of money, I think, for a summer sweater, if you're making it yourself, but not really. I mean, it depends on how you feel about your yarn. Um, this is 100% cotton. It does not split. It was very easy to work with, and I used an eye hook with this, and I think that's the actual size. I think it's, oh, it says H. I used a one, one uh, size larger hook for my sweater, but uh, this is a size 3 yarn. See right there? It's a light 3. So I wanted a yarn that was somewhat different, and this is somewhat different. I was crocheting in my car the other day and finishing up, and I had the wind. I put the window down to speak to Mr. On the Hook for a second, and the yarn turned purple. Now, I don't mean dark purple. I mean, honestly, it's just barely this color. I mean, it's just maybe that color right there. It's not uh, a dark purple like that, which is what I thought it might be. Now, another thing I want to tell you about this particular yarn, this yarn is smelly. <laughs> That's all I can say. It has a chemical on it, I'm sure, that makes it turn purple. Now, if you're sensitive to chemicals, you, yeah, still smell it. Um, it smells like peppermint. It smells just like peppermint. Um, not an unpleasant odor, but I noticed that after I had been working on this when I was gone last week, my hands smelled like that peppermint. They smelled like peppermint. And so I washed them very, very well before I went to bed. I know that I was crocheting on the way to bed. <laughs> I washed my hands because I felt like that chemical shouldn't be on my hands. Well, it's not overwhelming. But when I was crocheting in an enclosed environment, like in the car with the windows up, I could really smell it. And um, I don't know if washing will take care of that or not. I really don't know the answer to that. It says that you can wash it, so uh, we'll see what happens maybe the first time I wash this. And I may have to because it's made from white yarn. Beautiful, beautiful yarn, though. It is very pretty made up. And Without further ado, let me bring Crystal over and she'll show you this brand new sweater. Well, here's Crystal. She's going to show you my simple summer sweater and I really like it. I know I always say that about my garments. I don't always say that, but this is one of my favorites because it's a soft summer sweater. Very, very easy to wear. The sleeves are crocheted right into the fabric like I do a lot of my other patterns. It's just a very easy way 
to get the sleeve down at least this far on your arm. And then I put a very wide band here and did a lot of decreasing because when I crocheted this, the sleeve came out straight. I mean, it was like this. <laughs> Knew I had to do something and I thought, you know, I'll make a little puff sleeve out of that. So when I'm wearing them, they look a little bit like a puff sleeve right here at the end. They're so cute. I really like the way that turned out. And they're almost um, elbow length. So they are very modest sleeves here with a wide band. And the band is um, of the same stitch as the sweater, but it's going in a different direction. So it looks like a different stitch altogether. So the neckline is very, very simple. It is a summer neckline. It has several decreases around here and in the pattern I tell you how to do that. It's not difficult. Here's the other sleeve. It looks just like the first one and I tell you how to match them up to make sure that both sleeves look just alike and are the same exact length going down your arm. Now, I'm going to try to wear this. Uh, I'll put it on in the next day or two. We have very rainy weather today, so I couldn't wear it and then walk outside in it. And it's not going to be this purple. It's going to be barely purple, but it does turn a color. It's pretty interesting. And then when you bring it back out of the sunlight, it turns white again. And this is a bright white. This is a beautiful white yarn. And if it didn't change color, I wouldn't even care because I really like the, I really like the yarn. But it's very pricey. It's $8 for one skein. And each skein has 229 yarns. That's about, that's really not very much for a DK yarn or a size 3. But there again, buy four skeins and see if you can get them on sale. You might be able to get them on sale. I think I, I bought these at Michael's and you might wait for a coupon to come out, maybe order it online because I don't know if your store is going to have it. This is a summer yarn and of course they're moving to fall and winter so they're probably discontinuing this. And at my Michaels, they only had a few of this color left. They didn't have any pink and they didn't have any yellow. And I would love to make something out of either one of those beautiful colors, but uh, this is the only color they had. And it could be that the pink gets darker pink than this purple, I don't know. I, I don't have a lot of experience with the Chameleon yarn by Premier, but if they still have it next year and if they use some other colors, that'd be great. Anyway, I wanted to show you this, this is my new my new pattern probably next week. It'll be the simple summer sweater and I will give you the directions on how to make it and how to make it fit you. Now I did put some boxy in here. It looks like I put about maybe uh, eight inches of box in this or ease that people call it. Uh, I put eight inches of ease in this particular sweater. So uh, again it's very very soft. Crystal has enjoyed wearing this. She's had it on all day and she's enjoyed wearing it and um, I'll be I'll be publishing this pattern probably next week and it'll be my last summer pattern I'm sorry to say but we're moving into fall thank you Crystal we're moving into fall and I have to get busy because I've got several ideas that I want to create for fall and winter and I can't do that if I'm still crocheting summer tops now I did order some yarn from Lion Brand as a last minute thing for the last of the summer and it's been a little while getting here but it's a beautiful yellow yarn and I can't remember the name of it I think it's cotton candy or something like that it's in a it's in a cake and I thought it was just gorgeous and they didn't have very many colors and it was on sale one day so I went ahead and ordered I think three cakes maybe two probably two but anyway I ordered some and it hasn't come yet it's supposed to be here today so I might have to whip something up in that, maybe one of these. I might make one of these simple summer sweaters from that and we'll just see how it looks. And it's a, I think it's a, a DK weight as well. So I do have that on the way. My last Knit Crate box had Vitalana in it. Vitalana is one of the brands of Knit Crate and it was called Oasis. Very beautiful, beautiful DK weight yarn and I had ordered um, just a box, you know, because it was a monthly subscription, I received the blue. And I swapped it with someone, and thank you so much for that, you know who you are. <laughs> and I received this color called Tucson, and I just love it, it's so soft, so soft. So I went out to the website, and they had this yarn that members could buy, I'm a member because I'm a monthly subscriber, the yarn was half price. 
and I just squealed. I thought, you know what, I'm going to have a sweater quantity, so I bought three more skeins of this, and I tell you, they were only probably eight or ten dollars a skein. Now, that's not very much because these should be twenty dollars a skein at least. I mean, they're very generous with their yardage. This has 252 yards of it, um, of DK weight yarn on the ball, is compared to this is 229 for eight dollars. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea if you want to buy. Um, a really beautiful hand dyed yarn or you know just an exclusive yarn and this is made from 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian Highland Merino wool blend and 25% alpaca so it's all natural everything. Now this is 100% cotton I have to say this is 100% cotton but this is actual yarn made from an animal so um, I think it's going to be nice and warm. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I have so many ideas. I just don't know which one to do first. But I have five skeins of this, and I'm really excited. I've leave it, I'm left it on my desk right there, and so I can look at it and think, what am I going to do with that? What am I, what am I going to do with that? I have to do something with it. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you that. That's uh, just a real exciting thing to have a sweater quantity of a beautiful... Um, hand dyed yarn if that's what it is I think it's hand dyed this month um, I'm going to quickly open this box uh, open this bag this is the I believe August this is the August knit crate um, sub monthly subscription and someone asked me why I stay with this subscription and it's because I get a different kind of yarn every time I open one of these bags and it's not it doesn't come in a box anymore it comes in a bag which I've had to get used to <laughs> I don't really like it I like the box but boxes are very expensive to send as I have found out when I try to send a giveaway gift they're very very expensive so I use bags when I can I use bags when I can. I used to never do that, but I do it now. This is the Knit Crate Indulged. Here is the yarn that I received, and that's actually the same color that I received. I guess that's the same color. This might be the sock yarn, but this is the Audien Wool's Mellow, and this is that's the name of the yarn. The color is Mimosa. It's 80% alpaca and 20% tinsel. It's a bulky weight, so it's a number five yarn. And on each, each hank, we have 125 yards. So I have 250 yards of bulky weight yarn to make hats or a scarf or something out of. I'm really loving this. I, it smells like an animal. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like an animal. <laughs> all this animal uh, yarn that I'm, I've got all kinds of animals on my desk here. But this is a very beautiful yarn. I love it. It's soft. It'll make a really nice hat or maybe even a um, maybe even a cowl and a hat or something like that or a beret. I made those last year. I don't know if y'all saw those, but if you go on my website or go on my, excuse me, if you go on my Etsy shop, you'll see uh, the two berets that I made. I made one from a size six bulky and one from a size, I believe it was a five and purple. And it's purple party beret and cowl. I just love those. I love berets. I think they're so stylish, so beautiful, and they're very warm. The one that I made out of the size 6 yarn I wore to an outdoor event. Uh, it was a playground and it was windy and cold that day and I just pulled it down a little bit and it was so warm. It was wool and wool is warm. I have to say if you want to stay warm, wool is warm. So if you make something out of this kind of wool, this is going to have great drapes. See how it it flops around. That that's really showing you how much drape it has. I know that's that's just my opinion, but I've seen other people do this. This is this has a lot of drape in it, and I'm uh, thinking that the sweater that I make out of this is going to be so gorgeous. I just can't wait. So I'm going to do that, and I, well, I've, I've mixed up everything. I wanted to talk about the Knit Crate subscription, and the patterns are now on um, your computer. Yeah, you just go to the internet and download those, but um, I didn't do that because there weren't any things on here that I thought I would like to make, so I didn't download those. But they do send you a card with the patterns in there, and this is what I'm after. It's the beautiful, beautiful wool. 
if I get a wild thought, I might go out and order some more of this, but probably not. I've got plenty of yarn, and I keep saying I've got plenty of yarn. I still have, you know, the Lion brand is coming today. So that's another bit of yarn that I'd like to make up. And then I have this, and then last month's, and they, they, I'm not letting them pile up as much as I am enjoying them then in my stash, and that's okay. They can be in my stash. It won't hurt one thing to have those in my stash. I received a happy mail yesterday from Stephanie. Stephanie from Virginia, thank you so much. Beautiful card, and what a lovely note inside. Thank you very much. Stephanie, you're very, very sweet. Let's talk about giveaways. I've got a couple of giveaways that are starting to just hang around too long, so I need to give these away today. And the first one is the Crochet World magazine. Beautiful magazine. I actually read this on my trip. I have another copy that comes in for me. And I read that and I saw several things in there that I would like to make. So this is a really good magazine. I think I, I think you can find this at Joann's too if you don't win this one today. So everyone who, except for the person who wins can go get that at Joann's. This is the current edition and it's October of 2021. So let's give this away here in just a minute. Now I'm going to show you that. That's one of the gifts. The next gift is a crochet surprise, and I lose track of which month this is for, but I asked you to use the word kitchen in your comment to sign up for this, and this is what is in the box. The box has patterns for these beautiful pot holders, and these go in your kitchen, of course, and the colors in here, let me grab these because there are some really nice colors in here. You probably go with pretty much any kitchen, but let me grab this. Oh, in the meantime, Ruby Nectar is the tea that you'll be drinking if you win this box, this crochet surprise box. And if you're a subscriber for every month box, then you'll get the tea every single month. This is always so delicious. I am not gonna drink this because it's not mine. I promise crochet surprise that I will give this box away to one of my subscribers every single month. So they send me a free box and I open the box and I show you what's in it and then we give it away. So it's finally time to do that and I hope you all went back and actually signed up for, sorry about all the noise. <laughs> hope you all have signed up for the uh, giveaways because uh, this is a crochet surprise, very nice giveaway. Now included in the box, are three wooden rings. These are really pretty. Three wooden rings. So you can make three pot holders with rings. You can make them without rings. There's, I saw on the directions that you can do either way. And the directions are very, very easy. There are only about five lines. So it should be very, very simple to make. This is, they show it actually with and without the rings, if you can see that, with and without the rings. If you like potholders without rings, which I don't like rings on my potholders because I don't hang them up. I put them in a drawer so a ring would not be uh, something I really wanted to have, but it's really nice for a gift. You could give away three potholders with rings on them. Very beautiful, beautiful for Christmas. Now, the colors, I'll hold these three colors up. I don't know if this is enough to make, I think this is enough to make three pot holders because there are two skeins of each color. But here are the colors. And this is, of course, the Bernat Handicrafter. I've seen this in the stores. I've not used it, but it's uh, all cotton. And the colors are indigo, which is the blue color, and country red, which is that color. So you have indigo and country red and then of course white. So um, you can make one, looks like one pot holder in each color. And there are three rings to put on your pot holders. So a very nice box. This is a kitchen box and that's what I asked you to put on your comments. So let's turn the camera to the computer and let's give away the Crochet World magazine first. Here we are at the computer and I will show you what I've done here. Let me get my mouse up there. This is the URL for the week where we were signing up for the giveaway for the Crochet World magazine. And there is the word granny, which was the word I asked you to use in your comment in order to sign up from this. So let's get the YouTube comments for this particular 
video with that word 220 okay thank you for participating now let's go over here and find out who wins the crochet world magazine that would be Jennifer G. I love making granny squares. There is Jennifer's word right there. So Jennifer, you are the winner of the Crochet World magazine. Here we are at the computer and there is the URL for the week that we signed up for the Crochet Surprise. And we used the word kitchen in our comments. So let's find out how many comments we had with the word kitchen in the comment. And that would be... 338. Wow. Thank you for participating. Y'all are great. The very best on YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's start. Let's find out who wins the crochet surprise box. And that would be Susan Showers. Susan Showers. And let's see. There is the word kitchen in Susan's comment. So Susan Showers, you are the winner of the Crochet Surprise Box for this month. Congratulations! Well, congratulations, Jennifer and Susan. If you will email your mailing address to me at genie at onthehookcrochet.com and that address is down in the description box, I will get those out to you right away. Exciting! Now for next week, next Monday, we're having another giveaway. And I have two things that I want to give away. First of all is a cross stitch magazine. Now this is not for everybody. So if you want this cross stitch magazine, in the comment write the word cross. Just put it in your sentence anywhere you want or just in there just by itself. But the word cross, C-R-O-S-S. -S -S. Now if you want it, if you don't want it, don't worry, put the word cross in there and you won't be in the giveaway. And that'll give everybody else a little bit uh, better chance if you're not interested at all in this magazine. But I used to cross stitch and I have cross stitched and I like cross stitch I just don't do it um, I just don't have the number of hours to put in on all these crafts but <laughs> I do enjoy cross stitch so I still have this coming I bought it again this year so I'll be giving this away for another year every time a, uh, a published um, cross stitch magazine comes out I will be giving it to one of my subscribers so we'll have a, a drawing and you'll get that this is October 2021 this is the Halloween edition. Isn't this cute? Now, I'm not a big witch fan. Sorry, I just don't do witches. But there are some really cute things in here. First of all, I want to show you three patterns. This one is bear and berries. This is a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And it's a little bear and the mother bear both eating berries out in the woods. And it's about a 10 by 10 design. And then it's framed. I see your fabric would have to be probably 12 by 12 but it has about 25 colors and that makes it even more beautiful sometimes you have to use more colors for it to be beautiful but i have something to say about that the second pattern i want to draw your attention to is this one this is called autumn leaf you can place this in a frame you can use it on a pillow it's a seven by seven design and it's all done in back stitch. It is not difficult. Now it says intermediate on here, so it could be that the half squares may throw some people. I don't know. They're at the tips of the uh, leaves, but you can always learn how to do that. You just Google it, go on the web, and somebody will show you how to do that. <laughs> but it's not difficult. It's just uh, a, a step that an intermediate cross stitcher might be more familiar with. But that is, again, one of my favorites. This is beautiful, and it's done all in one color. You could do that in green. You could do it in red. And this particular color, and I'll just tell you what the color is. This color is Very Dark Garnet. That's Very Dark Garnet, which is red. So I guess it's kind of like a burgundy red. Very beautiful, and I like that. Now, the third I want to show you is Violets in Autumn, and this is really pretty. Look at that. That's a year-round, beautiful, beautiful cross stitch, and they have placed it in a circular frame. This is not an embroidery hoop. This is an actual frame, and you can get this frame from Stitch Frame, and I'm guessing their website is stitchframe.com. That would be my guess. I would hope you could get it there or just Google where do I find a stitch frame frame. <laughs> they should come up with it. But this is really pretty. Um, the colors are beautiful and I love the way the lines are brought down to the flowers. I think that's beautiful and the round 
frame really sets that off. So there are probably, it looks like maybe 30 colors in that. That's a lot of colors. But you also have this color at the bottom, which I don't know if you saw, but it's kind of an orangey color, but it looks so pretty with the purple. I really like that. It's so beautiful. Well, this magazine will go to some lucky winner next Monday. <laughs> so if you're interested, put the word cross in your comment and you will be in the running for that. Now, for all you yarn lovers out there, I have something for you. A while back, I ordered some yarn from a friend who offered me some King Cole yarn and a couple of the skeins I probably won't be using. Um, the colors are not Genie colors. They're somebody else's colors, I'm sure. But these are King Cole Splash DK yarns. And one of them is Candy Floss and the other one is Denim. So here are the two colors, Candy Floss and Denim. And honestly, you could probably combine those. The blues look like they're exactly some of the same shades. And then the pink kind of sets that off. So you have two skeins of DK weight yarn and let's see how many yards are on here. This is 320 yards each so you have 640 yards of DK yarn that you could use maybe for a baby sweater or something like that. A beautiful scarf you could get that out of this many yards. I really like it. Maybe a stripe of each color on a scarf going up like that. Very beautiful. I'm not having second thoughts, but this will go to the winner next Monday for the yarn. In addition to that, what I tried to give away a while back didn't happen, and so I'm doing it again. So we're going to have another giveaway for the basic stitch. This is the basic stitch um, size 4 in tan and white. This is by Lion Brand. I love it. 157 yards on the hang. Let's see if I've got that the right way. Here it is. Basic stitch. Really, really like this really like it and I have one two three four five probably six because I started a sweater with this and you can rip that out or you can continue on with it it's a, a complete yoke of a sweater and I just never uh, finished it if you know how to finish a um, a sweater in the round or top-down sweaters what they call these uh, you are welcome to it or you can frog it out and use the yarn for something else. I'd love for you to tell me if you did that or not. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you shouldn't tell me. But this will go, in addition to the King Cole yarn, will all go to the winner next week. And then the other winner will receive the Cross Stitch Magazine. So that's a nice giveaway. We'll cover everybody. So if you're interested in this set of yarn, the King Coles and the Basic Stitch, write the word King and see if you can see it there write the word king k-i-n-g in your comment and you will be in the running for the yarn for next week so there you go well i'm going to leave that right there be sure to look for your email if you're in the community and if you're not sign up for the uh, sparkling summer sweater pattern that will be coming out either tomorrow or the next day so be sure to be looking in your email to make sure that you don't miss it be sure to like this video if you liked what you heard i hope that you come back and see me if you're new and if you're a subscriber thank you so much for your support so thank you again for joining me today i hope you have a wonderful wonderful week i would love to come back at the end of the week in a late week video because i had several things i wanted to talk about i didn't get to today because i simply ran out of time i don't want to take up an hour of your time when I'm on the video, I'd like to keep it to 30 minutes or less because there's just so much to talk about with new patterns and new sweaters and fall coming up and buying new yarn, which I don't need, but I know y'all are the same way. If you like to buy some yarn, you should buy some yarn and enjoy it because life is too short to not buy your yarn that you love. If you can afford it, go ahead and buy it and let it sit in your stash for a little while and then look at it and say, you know what, I'd like to make a certain pattern out of that, that beautiful yarn and that's kind of what I do. I let it sit there and I look at it and it tells me what it wants to be. Let me get my hook out and ask you to join me next time when we find out what's on the hook.